April 25th marks World Malaria Day. At least 300 million cases of malaria are reported annually, resulting in more than 1 million dead. In a significant breakthrough, researchers in Brazil announced a new cheap and effective treatment for malaria last week. The medication was developed by the Brazilian government in conjunction with the non-profit Drugs for Neglected Diseases Initiative, or DNDI. The drug will not be patented, so it is anticipated it will be more widely accessible than previous anti-malarial treatments. DNDI's Dr. Bernard Pecol explained the advantages of this new combination medicine. The World Health Organization is recommending to use this combination since uh, now more than five years. The problem is uh, the, pro the product was quite difficult to use because you had to take until 28 tablets in three days, which is quite complex when you have malaria, you are vomiting, you are not in a good shape, and you have to take 28 tablets. So the challenge was to reduce the number of tablets and to be sure that the patient will, t will take the two treatment because advantage of combination is you, inc you increase the efficacy of your treatment plus you prevent the risk of developing resistance. Speaking to The Real News, Dr. Pecol further elaborated on the implications of this treatment advance on the health of developing nations. Malaria is, is, is still a major public health and the estimation of number of cases is around 500 million new cases per year with one to 1.5 uh, people dying from, from malaria every year. So the most affected con continent is still Africa, but there is also uh, major problems in, in, in South of America, as well as Asia with particularly problems in Southeast Asia, as well as India. While well, it improve the management of this disease, you have an effect on the community and you have probably an effect on the socio-economical development of society. So we launch uh, Artesunat Mefloquine in Brazil. The Ministry of Health will buy the product to the pharmaceutical company and will make the product available free of charge in, in a dispensary, and particularly in the Amazonian region. The plan of development has been designed with the partners with an objective to develop something that would be available at cost on one side and without patent, so giving opportunity of older partners to uh, develop uh, the product. We are expecting that it will be available in the other Latin American countries in a few months. And in parallel, we are organizing a transfer of technology to a company in India called CIPLA that will uh, be in charge of the distribution of the product in Asia. If we want to make progress in the field of public health, we need to have a combined effort on uh, innovation, so inventing new tools, but also in terms of uh, access. This Brazilian model of drug development marks a departure from business as usual. Most drugs available on the market are patent protected, and flexibility in the production of generic essential medicines is not encouraged by the World Trade Organization. We asked lawyer and public health advocate Richard Elliott if the patent-free Brazilian model can be replicated for other treatments as well. The recent project is a really encouraging sign and is the kind of model that could be replicated elsewhere with the appropriate support. The key thing that has made all of this possible has been not just the commitment of the organizations that are involved, but also the commitment of governments who have provided the critical public funding. Richard Elliott added that he sees no reason why medicines should primarily be developed by private pharmaceutical companies, which he argues are driven by the bottom line, not the public good. He also notes that an alternative patent-free system of drug development is being hindered by multinational corporations and their backers. The U.S. government has not shown itself to be particularly open to alternatives, and certainly its primary role in forums like the World Trade Organization has been to just go to bat for the brand name multinational pharmaceutical industry and to insist on the sacrosanct status of the current intellectual property regime.